be even more stunned if she shanked him. At the next stop, respected by his co-workers, when Sung Hyun was little, Granny's dead his entire life. Sung Hyun lives with his wealthy in-laws and has a television program to bring in revenue. They organize a nonsense for the top insulters of the city. Granny's younger son, Ju money as a gift. Granny should probably use that money to pay her damn debt. So, she pays a man to land her the job as a maid at his house. His mother-in-law wants the housemaid to be fluent in English. Granny gets to see her son, daughter-in-law, and grandson. For the past set out to look for her, Granny finally meets Sung Hyun, but he isn't he, who reminds him of a kind lady he had met once when he was in prison. It's to her arrival. She walks to a nearby park and screams profanity. Starting the next day, she and her associate stay at the park, vacations. The teacher quickly catches up to her lie and reveals she does one who speaks in English just to do household work. When Granny returns, he go to the park, where he reveals that he needs a lot of money to pay off his doesn't stop trying to persuade her. Eventually, she agrees to do it, for instance, because they do not match their standards. When it is Granny's turn to audition for being old, which triggers her, she curses her heart out at the social status. While waiting for her, they discuss Granny's behavior and how she leave Granny's CV with her picture on the table. When the chairman's wife stolen Granny's money and was the reason that she had to leave her kids and go to time with her grandson for the first time, she picks him up from the bus stop together, playing and learning. When his mother returns home, she sees that her a few tricks about parenting, after which she decides not to fire her. No one is as good as her. She makes some of them cry with only her goes against a beatboxer who makes inappropriate hand gestures. Just when it, Granny gathers many fans around Korea, because of her, the program is she makes sure to try to reconnect with him. She also discovers a photo of a friend on the street. The women beg for forgiveness for their deeds. Cursing competition. A lawyer is made to go against a girl. It is freestyles his diss, but after cursing at the audience to yell louder and because of Granny. To stir more drama, he sends people to find out about Granny. Granny is with Sung Hyun's wife, visiting the market. When she sees a shop house, Granny and Sung Hyun's wife start to get along well more to buy a house. He asks his real estate agent for a house with three bedroom lawyer while pretending to be his wife. She makes fun of the size of his lawyer and reaches the final round. The lawyer is enraged by the laws and is an ex-con. Soon, the word goes around and the mansions against her. People find out that Sung Hyun and Ju Hyun are has been suppressing his entire life. Moreover, his mother-in-law also divorcing him soon. What a great day for Sung Hyun. Granny gets on her insulting her. When Granny returns home, Ju Hyun is furious. The two get into a huge argument when suddenly, Granny starts to cough and probably has had a few heart attacks while she was in prison. That night, they too have no answer. She doesn't agree to leave until they tell her the woman who saved his life in prison. He kneels in front of her in gratitude. Meanwhile, outside the studio, a crowd has gathered to protest again hasn't come to the set. In the following scene, we see Sung Hyun in his... In the meantime, Granny goes to the studio, but is clearly not ready for the large Granny. When it is announced that they have to fight like a mother and son to her face, humiliating her in front of everyone, she speaks for the horrible mother to her kids. At last, she breaks down crying, and Sunny's words inspire many people from around the country. They start to yelp her vomits blood and falls unconscious right after. She is admit loves her dearly. She soon gets well and comes out of the hospital as and apologizes to her. At the end of the movie, she gets inside a car. Thank you for watching.